My name is Horace Forbes. I'm from New York City. I'm feeling blessed. The dream is to be clean with a shine that's divine. Let's hear from a businessman who has all the plans put in place. My business is a mobile detail. It's a mobile detail service. What it's about, it's about car cleaning. When I was young, I started detailing cars. I started washing cars on my own. You don't become a detailer until you learn everything about detailing to a car. So when I first started, I was basically car washing, which was I vacuum, I wash it, I wipe down the inside. But then when I got older, I got into the experience part of it, which was doing the shampoo, the waxing, the polishing, and you know, it's different things that you can do in detailing. And I learned that. I went to school to get a certificate for that. And it did me very well. What are some of your favorite cars to detail? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm gonna tell y'all, tell y'all. I done hit the AMG, Mercedes Benz. I done, boy, I done hit me a Bentley. Whoo, that thing was beautiful. Uh, Porsche, Corvettes, motorcycles, boats. I clean houses. I'm so, I'm, I'm so entrepreneur that whatever needs to be cleaned, if I can clean it, I can clean it. Why did you bring your son into the business? For the support and the help. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't grow the business by myself. So, you know, I need some team members. I need some good workers. So, you know, my son came back into my life, reunite, and what we doing? We trying to make it grow. What made detailing a thing for you? Well, when I was younger, my dad, you know what I'm saying? He, he kind of pushed us in there, you know what I'm saying? So when we was younger, we used to just we used to go to work with him on the weekends and we used to detail cars. That's how we learned, me and my little brother. Okay, so what was the hardest part about detailing when you first started? Well, I mean, when we was younger, it was just hard to reach certain places because we were so <laughs> little, you know what I'm saying? We was, yeah. we was probably like, I don't know, six, seven, eight-ish around there, you know, just little young little boys, you know what I'm saying? We was little boys, not even teens, so. And then, like when you when you finally grew tall to be to, to tall enough to do it, like what was your favorite thing to start doing when you detail? I mean, it's still my favorite vacuuming. This, you know what I'm right, saying? Vacuum the inside, yeah, just watching that carpet get clean. You know what I'm saying? The best feeling. Looking at your inside go from filthy to now it's it's back. You know what I'm saying? I want them to think about having a business like myself. Think about being your own boss. You'll feel good doing your own thing where you ain't gotta have nobody looking over your shoulder. Hey, you missed that right there. Hey, come over here, I need you to go over there so you can get out there and actually go out there and, hey ma'am, what you like done? Get her car done, then you go on to the next person. You ain't got the people looking over your shoulder saying blah, 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 blah. And it feels good. Feel good to be a black man working for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Entrepreneuring it.